everyone my name is Raja Shekhar welcome to my channel in this video I'll be talking about another DMX template which I'm sharing to you people the earlier DMX template was intended to be used only with an unreal engine and it was for level sequencer for those of you who are interested to simulate the DMX lights using chances you can use this template which I'm sharing you so it's programmed and all set to trigger from chances the only thing is that you'll have to ensure both the unreal engine and the chances program has few settings enabled for this to work properly i'm going to put a card on the screen right now if you are unaware of those settings please watch that first and then get back to this video the set is similar to the one which i shared you before it's just that i've made this a little more darker you can always change the brightness and you can modify the set to your likings and the lights remain the same i was not successful in patching the laser I tried a few manufacturer lights from Chances but I uh, was unable to do that at this moment. And also I'm unsure how far I was successful in patching the moving matrix as well. Just that it's linked, quite unsure how it behaves. Other than that every other light is working perfectly. So let's quickly run through the map and library. So this is your main map. You need to click on content and double click on this file to load this map. Let's talk about the DMX library. Getting inside the DMX library, the library settings have enabled 10 universe for you people which is more than enough for you to test. Fixture types, I have included all the lights and I have added functions. Going to patch. So if you notice there is only one patch file, two Sharpies will be using the same uh, patch file. In a similar way, if you take pyro, there are two pyros, they will be using the same pyro patch file, so on and so forth for every two elements on the scene. In the event if you want add additional lights and if you want them to have a separate patch file you are welcome to do so but before doing that I would like to mention adding or changing anything here you will have to again get back to the scene and relink the lights to the corresponding patch file that's point number one and point number two if you happen to delete anything accidentally without any planning in this screen all the lights will turn red and you'll have to go through trouble of repatching everything so my recommendation as soon as you download the project file make a second copy of it in that way if one gets messed up you can always restore them if you are interested in learning the complete process of adding a light functions and patching them in unreal i'll be sharing a video playlist at the end of this video and watch that to get to know about the process so that's about the unreal scene uh, let's quickly get back to campuses before opening campuses i recommend you to download the campuses show file and go to your documents folder inside documents magic queue and inside magic queue show paste the show file here in my case the show file is rt's cam and then start your campus program once your campus is ready click on file open show choose yes and in here sort by date and you'll find rt's cham click on that so your show file is loaded and then you need to click on layout and these are the lights everything is grouped here so this is a sharpie group I have grouped all these individual lights which are seen there collectively uh, in a single dimmer pyro fireworks and water everything is going as dimmer and this is your static light and this is your wash and this is your uh, moving mirror static matrix and this is your moving matrix we'll begin by clicking on play in unreal unreal is ready just to see how they are programmed you can check the fader at the bottom of the screen i've been a short info on each and every queue name currently the window is small once you expand you'll be able to see the name clearly so the first one is for wash light turn on the fader you'll see the wash is uh, animating this is all i've added just one uh, queue and i've animated this and i've stored that and the second one is your sharpie third is your moving mirror which is in the center and this is your static matrix moving matrix and I'm currently unsure whether this moving matrix is doing its thing the way it's meant to be so I just uh, kept it there uh, for now and here's your pyro that's your fireworks I've set the fireworks to explode right away you can always change the setting from the unreal engine and here's your strobe light and then your water source and finally your static lights you can go ahead and change uh, all the settings 
and record uh, multiple cues to uh, to the same fader and see how it comes you can also change the color and look of it change the style and how you want so this is done just to give you all people a hang of how the program works you don't need to go through trouble of patching and linking and going through all this headache rather right away you can experiment and play around and see how this works from camps's point of view to unreal hoping this will be useful for you all i'll be sharing you the dropbox file link in the description of this video i'll also be sharing you the tutorial playlist at the end of this video do check it out people who are interested do subscribe to the channel and do share it to the people who would be interested to learn these techniques see you all in the next video thank you for tuning in this is raj shekhar signing out bye